Hello again, this is Ali Nasser. I'm SolidWorks Flight Expert and Abacus Instructor. In this uh, presentation, we will introduce some concepts in Abacus. The key concept uh, of this presentation will be as following. How to import part in Abacus from other CAD software. The next point, we will focus on how to repair uh, problems or some issues will happen in your model part. Uh, the third point will show the frequency at eigenvalue. Will show the frequency at specific eigenvalue. Our problem is uh, gear. We have gear. We uh, want to show frequency of this gear at specific eigenvalue. The condition of our case uh, BART will import it from CAD software. Uh, to be specified, uh, the CAD software is will be um, solid work material as following boundary condition. Our analysis will be frequency standard. Let's uh, go to CAD software to show how import uh, BART from Get software to Abacus. Solid work. I will open Solid work. The suitable uh, extension for Abacus. Um, I prefer uh, dot set. It's bit more better. Uh, in decrease in issues. Uh, compare with other extensions. I will open part I have created in uh, uh, solid work gear. No, this gear I have created in solid work. I want to uh, export this uh, gear to be suitable for Abacus. The first or uh, the most important point is dimension. You must select the right uh, dimension you wish. I will select a meter dimension. So the dimension in Abacus will be meter kilogram second. Um, there are uh, big issue in units in Abacus. You must follow this dimension if you, sh if you uh, do uh, SI must be meter Newton force mass in kilogram second density will be kilogram per uh, meter cube. Fine, okay. Let's export this part. I will go to file, save as second, then I will select extension.set. And check options to be sure the units will be meter. The units will be meter. And the, the export will be solid or surface. We must check this in Abacus. Okay. Save as. Let's see. Let's save in uh, drive A, E, partition E. I will close. So it work and open Abacus. Abacus CEE. -E. Take some time to open. Wait. We'll select standard explicit. If you mark that, uh, there is no. Uh, CFD in Abacus from 2017. It will be uh, divided in other program. Uh, we will select standard list. Then I will import from file. File select import. I my uh, my import will be part, not sketch or uh, assembly or model. It will be part. 
I will select uh, the partition I have saved the part in. This part will be dot set extension. I will select it. Uh, I have uh, opened this message. I will select import all part. Uh, if you have uh, assembly and you will and you need uh, this assembly to be one merged solid, uh, you must select combined. But in our case, we will select individual part to uh, because we have uh, imported one part. So I will press OK. The part now is imported. If you have, if you look it at uh, three, you will see uh, part one. Uh, expand this. You will see uh, gear feature one gear feature. Then we will follow the module modules. Uh, we have finished part step. Then we will go to property to define the material material of part. To define material of part, uh, must be uh, first create material. Uh, our material will be aluminium. Aluminium. We will go to general, select density. The mass of aluminium, this is uh, aluminium to be specified, it is uh, uh, 60, 61 alloy. Uh, the density of 61 alloy is 20,700 in kilogram per meter cube. I have shown it in uh, our conditions. Eh? 20,700. Okay, I will, then I will go to mechanical, select elastic, plasticity, and define elastic or um, young modulus. Young modulus is the ratio of uh, stress over uh, strain. The young modulus will be 6547. E or 10 power 6. Uh, Boiseau ratio will be 0 0.0336. I will press OK. The second step in uh, property is define the section of material. I will define the section of material. The, the, my section will be solid and homogeneous. Press continue. Select the defined material in previous step will be aluminum. Select aluminum. And then I will assign uh, the section material. The, the material not defined yet. To be, the, to be sure the material is defined must be the part uh, colored in green. I will select assign and select this part. Press enter or done from here and select section. Section I have created. I will select section. Okay. Now the uh, material be in uh, fully defined. If you have problems in section, you can't select the section. Yeah. If we go to section and they make edit if we go we will create again a section here if you select homogeneous solid homogeneous and you have problem a big problem uh, you can't select uh, in assign if i select that this and uh, as no no showing a section in assigned material. Uh, this issue uh, because the part is not solid. Maybe uh, chill. To make the part solid, but in our case is already solid. But if uh, you need to make uh, the part 
uh, import shell and will make it uh, uh, solid. You you must return to part and go to a part in command manager here. No, uh, sorry, select shape and uh, convert this shell from shell from solid. You will create new part and delete this part from tree and create solid from shell to define to repair any problems in part. But our pro our part uh, have no problem. So we will continue the modules steps. The third steps will go to assembly and import the part. Uh, we have only part no, uh, no part is. We have only part. I will make part independent in, uh, on mesh uh, and press OK. Apply, press OK. Now you define uh, the assembly. Uh, go to the next step uh, is a step module. I will create step module. My step module will produce five uh, linear preparation, uh, static linear preparation. No, uh, is my analysis will be frequency. I will select the frequency, continue, and define uh, some eigenvalues. Eigenvalues uh, maybe mean uh, a certain ball, like uh, like amplitude or time. I will uh, select 100 eigenvalues. Press OK. Go to the next step is interaction. No interaction because no assembly. It's bar. It's single part. It's only single part. I will select. I will go to the next step uh, is load. I will define my load as boundary condition. Boundary condition. Select boundary condition. Go to uh, displacement and rotation as uh, as shown in my problems. I, I mentioned. Uh, Boundary condition allow only U3. Uh, I will allow uh, displacement in uh, direction U3 only in inner diameter. Okay, I select rotate this rotate. I select this edge as uh, fixed. Let's skip keyboard. Select displacement rotation. Click continue. I will select this edge, but this is edge is divided. You must select shift to select uh, half of edge of circle, upper and lower. I select this shift and this. Press OK. I will close the movement in all direction, but except except. Uh, you are three. I will allow you are three motion. Okay. Then I will go to next step uh, is mesh. My mesh assign type element first. Will assign type element for this part. It will be three D and linear. I will select 3D and linear. Press OK. Standard. My uh, procedure is standard. Press OK. Then my assign control will be tetrahedral elements. Press OK. Done. Then seed part. Apply. OK. We the final, uh, the final thing, part in instance, yes, part mesh in instance, to apply triangle, tetrahedral triangle elements in um, gear. These are my elements or mesh divided. Now you have uh, to go to job, create job. My job will be name as job one. Continue. Okay. Now we will edit job. Check 
data, data check before uh, uh, submit. If uh, have problems, we'll fix it. It's okay. Take some time to check uh, your uh, your case. Check running. Maybe press um, monitor to show. But we will uh, wait, wait to check running. Take some time uh, about the parameter and uh, depend on many things in your case. Look, the file processor complete successfully. No problems in our input parameter until now. We must uh, wait to see the status uh, complete successfully. It takes um, time. You must have a uh, workstation PC to work more, uh, more compatible. Check is running. Okay, I will pause until finish. Okay, I return as the, the check is completed. No problems at all. Alhamdulillah. Uh, now we will submit to uh, get the results. I will submit. Okay. Submit but also take some time. So we'll pause until finish the analysis and give me uh, results. The status is running. Okay, I will pause again. The result have finished. Uh, I won't uh, mention uh, only thing. Uh, I renamed uh, the name of job to uh, job zero one because it make uh, confusion with uh, some previous work. So uh, we have finished all uh, things. Uh, now go to results to show the results. Show magnitude of displacement. I will show the frequency ignore value. Go to results, select history output, then go to Eigenvalue, eigenvalue for all uh, whole model and the plot. This is plot with uh, 100 eigenvalue, time domain, and frequency. Mm. Let's uh, show eigenvalue frequency, plot, frequency, and model number. That's all. Thanks.